Okay, so in this segment of the video, we're going to go over inline file extensions. But before I open this subpanel here, I want to go over here and show you the difference between an attachment and an inline file. Okay, there's two ways to serve a file in a browser. If I click this link, by default, S2Member will serve the file with the content disposition of attachment. So that means that the browser is going to prompt the customer to either save the file or open the file on their computer. So it's, down, it's a download as an attachment. Okay? Now the, on the other side of that, we have like a normal web page, for example. When you click a link to go to a web page, the browser does not prompt you to download the web page and view it on your computer. It just opens it in line in the browser. Okay, so most people don't think twice about that, but that is the difference between opening a file inline as, a, as compared to clicking a link and having a file download prompt issued with the browser so that you save it to your computer. Okay, now knowing that, we can come back here and take a look at inline file extensions and see that by default, S2Member will serve all files with the content disposition of attachment. So whether the file can be displayed inline, or it cannot, S2Member assumes that it will always be sent as an attachment. And then it gives you the ability to specify certain extensions that you would prefer to have served in line. Okay, so if I was to take this example and, and put that into this field here, and I just comma delimit each extension that I want to serve in line. Okay, and then I update and save changes. Okay, I can now create a link to a download that would actually not be a download. It would just be a link to the file because the file would be opened in line. Okay, so that could, I know, I understand how that could be confusing. So let's walk through an example. Okay, right now on this download link example page, I have a link to download s2memberpro.zip. That's, by the way, that's an add on for the free version of s2member. Okay, uh, you can find this at s2member.com if you like. But right now, this example is just a zip file. Okay, so if I click this link, the browser, as it should be, this file is being sent as an attachment because a zip file, it does need to be downloaded and extracted locally on a computer. So we don't want to serve a zip file in line. That's not even possible. So we would not want to specify zip as one of the inline extensions. Okay. But let's take a look at if, if we were to change this, this link to another file. So let's, I'm going to switch windows here for a minute and let's take a look at my FTP application and see the files that I've already uploaded for this demonstration. Uh, and we can see that I have a PayPal IPN.pdf. Okay, now a PDF file is an Adobe Reader file, and that file can be opened in line in a browser. Okay, so let's make a link to this PayPal IPN file so that the link would not be a download, but it would just go straight to the file and open it in the browser. Okay, so here's how we do that. I'm going to come over here to the edit this page. Okay, and I'm going to change this link that currently is for s2memberpro.zip. I'm going to change it to PayPal IPN.pdf. And I'm going to change my download key to PayPal IPN.pdf. And instead of me saying download here in the text for the link, I will just say PayPal IPN PDF. Okay, let's update this. Okay, now I'll come over here and refresh this page. Okay, so now instead of having a link that reads download a file, I don't need it to read that because actually, from the customer's perspective, this will not be a file download. They're just going to click this link, and the browser will be told to load this file in line. So you see here is the PDF that loads right up in my browser. So in effect, we have taken the file download system for S2 member and we have transformed it into a system that allows me to protect files that are not even actually a part of WordPress. Okay, all I have to do is just move them into the security enabled directory for S2 member and then create these links just like I've done here. And this allows me to serve up for files on a protected basis right in line in the browser. So you can see how this could be applied to web pages in HTML format, to PDF files, to images, to video and other media. So this is a very powerful feature. And now remember, I don't have to include the key here. Okay, I can include the key, but if I don't include the key, then that's fine also. And if the key is not present, 
then the file download will be protected with basic download restrictions. Okay, and that works on the membership level access. So the customer would have to be logged in, and depending on the location of the file, if you had it inside one of those special direct subdirectories for a certain access level, that would kick in here. But with the key present, then we override that, and now the key makes it available no matter what, whether the customer is logged in or not, it bypasses all of that. Okay, so that is file download protection for S2 member. Okay, in the next video, we're going to cover API tracking, and we're going to skip the list servers and move right down to notifications. So notifications and tracking are going to be covered in their own video, and that's coming up next.